and welcome back to design school for wordpress beginners in this video i want to show you how you can make an entire section clickable without installing any third party plugin well this is one of the most asked questions on the facebook elementor group so i was wondering and to my surprise i even found few plugins that advertise this as a selling feature well it's quite easy and if you watch this video you'll be able to do it in fact using this code you can make anything clickable so you can make a section clickable you can make a column clickable and you can also make any widget clickable so the first thing that you need to do is to pick your element so i want to make this whole section clickable so i'll just click on the section head over to advanced and at advanced i need to give a name which is unique so this must be something that you haven't used anywhere so you can maybe call it clickable 1 2 3 that will be unique i'll simply call it clickable and also give the class name as the same thing that you want so this is particularly a name this can be anything that you want just make sure it's unique and this is step 1 of the process step 2 click on the widgets icon and search for html widget and drag and drop it anywhere don't worry it won't change your layout because we're just going to add the code itself and not any html code such as heading or anything it will be a simple code so don't worry you can drag this widget anywhere you want on the page and the next thing that you need to do is to copy the code that i'm going to share with you in the description don't change the code use it as is and i'll explain what it is and finally step 3 this is the code that you need to add in your description and the only thing that you need to change is this one right here so enter the url including the https so i just included https.apple.com so this is all you need to change so put your complete website's link here so it will it will include http or https if it's yours and just add any link to this and once you're done click on update so let let us test that out how that's working so i just made this column clickable so let me click on it and yes it opens apple.com because it's the link that is specified here there are a couple of things that you need to note here so when you make your section column or any widget clickable this code works great but the same code works even when you're edit editing a template so if you click the template for editing even then it opens that particular window it's not of a big deal but you just need to note close that extra window that pops up and then you can remove the code or you can simply remove the html widget note when i clicked on that html widget it opened apple.com again because it's basically thinking that i'm actually clicking on the section so this is the reason why elementor chose to avoid this feature and they have elements that are clickable because if you make the whole section clickable um, you will not be able to make out if you want to edit something in the section or if i just clicking on it and the second thing here is that you may face this particular problem so i just removed apple.com from here and i included my own websites url here and let me try to update it and watch what happens it shows a server error it shows there's something wrong and it cannot update that particular template well the reason for this as of pinpointed is your security plugin in my case it's word fence so if you have a security firewall or any program on your website you can simply deactivate it update the code and then activate the plugin back or you can contact the developer of that particular plugin to help get a work around around this so let me show you now i'll just deactivate my wordfriends security plugin it's a quite popular plugin with over million installs and let me try to click on update watch what happens now and now it does update without any problem there's no server error that's because my security plugin is thinking that someone is trying to hack my site and put some weird code in it but actually it's me doing it so 
the simplest workaround is to deactivate your security plugin while editing this code and once you're done editing and you can update it and then reactivate that plugin back so now i can simply reactivate the plugin back and i won't have any problem and i'll have all the security features back so this is how you add a link to a section so that's how it is it's basically caching it so it doesn't understand i just need to clear the cache that's all and it will just work code will be in the description down below and if you like this simple trick you can apply it to any section column or widget by using it but use this code with caution because it may sometimes screw up so if you want to make something clickable make sure it's not a section column or widget so you can add this to a particular section that you badly want it to be clickable unless and until then avoid using this code but if you want it this is the free way of doing it there are few plugins out there that you can install but i'm totally against plugins because they'll add a lot of load on your website and they'll basically slow down your performance so that's not good for your website hope you liked it i'll talk to you in the next video stay tuned and that's it for now and hope you guys like this video if you did make sure to give a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and if you need anything else don't hesitate to ask i'm ready to help you catch you in the next video peace